Even as your father, which is in heaven, is perfect. Oh, my brother Vance, what does that mean then? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. It's just, what I'm telling it's just you. said, what Christ I'm... just said, be ye therefore perfect. But we're not perfect. We're not. That's you, why you, Christ you, you, tells you, us you, to be perfect. Let me ask y'all a question. Okay, good. Can I ask y'all a question? Go ahead. How do you get saved? How do you get saved? How do you get the kingdom of heaven? Y'all believe in God, right? How do you get the kingdom? We ain't got the kingdom yet. Right, we don't get it yet. That's right. How do we get it, though? We want it, right? We gotta go to the Do your Savior, but there's an action. There's something you have to do. What do we have to do? Do you know how do you get it? How do I get it? How do you get it? I don't have it yet. I don't have it yet. Nobody has it yet. Right. Right? The kingdom. So what are we doing? The kingdom isn't here yet. So how do we get it? But we can make our own kingdom. Yeah, we can. We can make our own kingdom. We gotta start building our own development. Right, let me ask you a question. According to the Bible, how do we get the kingdom? The Bible don't tell us that. You don't? Let's see. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Uh -huh. you know, and behold, what came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So my, my brothers, my family over here, the Bible says, Good master, meaning an Israelite man came to Christ, and he asked Christ, What does it take to get the kingdom of heaven? You know? And he said unto him, uh -huh. Why callest thou me good? Uh -huh. There is none good but one. So Christ was responded. Christ said, there's nobody good but one. You know? That is God, right? But if thou wilt enter into life. So look, to answer your question, if you want the kingdom, if you want eternal life, you know? Keep the commandments. You what? Keep the commandments. So you want the kingdom? That's the question. I got the kingdom. You got it already? I got the thing. Well, I don't totally get the thing. You got the thing. Luke 17. Yes, sir. That's, that's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. We're going to prove that. Uh, 17. Yes, sir. The book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 20. Uh -huh. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, uh -huh. he answered and said, the kingdom of God come of not with observation. Uh -huh. Neither shall they say, lo here or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. It's within you. It's within me. It's within us. The kingdom of heaven is within us, my brother. So you were right. So what do we have to do in order to get the kingdom? We have to keep God's commandments. Right. Look, but guess what? If we, as a whole, if we don't keep God's commandments, it's not going to come, right? We're going to stay here in slavery. Right. We're going to stay here in captivity. Right. So we need everybody. We need all of our people to start keeping God's commandments. Right. That's what God is requiring of us. For you to keep the Sabbath day. Do you keep the Sabbath? Keep your commandments. Yes, sir. Do you keep the Sabbath day? I'm not, I'm not perfect. Look, I don't need those commandments. All right, so you're not perfect. What's your name, sir? Vance. My brother Vance. 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 But I'm not perfect. You know what? God don't expect us to be perfect. God knows we ain't going to always. Now, now, my brother, is that according to what a lot of people say? Or is that according to the Bible? What does the Bible say about that? Well, good question. Let's read it. Chapter 5, verse 48. Uh -huh. Be ye therefore perfect. What did Christ say?
Be ye therefore perfect. What does Christ expect from us? Be ye therefore perfect. All right, so my brother Vance. All right, so Christ, this is red letters right here. So this is Christ speaking. He said, you Israelites, y'all better be perfect. He says, be ye therefore perfect. Now I know what we've been taught. I know what we've been taught. We've been taught Christianity, my brother. We've been taught Christianity. And then Christianity, it says you don't have to be perfect. But Christ, we just read it. Do you not believe in the Bible? I believe in that word. But I also so God it again, it again. that word. Be ye therefore perfect, word, even as your father which is in heaven is perfect. So my brother Vance, what does that mean then? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. It's just what I'm telling it you. Just said, Christ just said, be ye therefore perfect. But we're not perfect. We're not. That's why you, Christ you, you, tells you, us to be perfect. perfect. We're not. We're That's really why perfect. Christ tells us to be perfect why because you're not that right now but he wants that to be to exude from you right. he expects you to be perfect right. right so right now you're right we're not perfect but god says get perfect right. again. be ye therefore perfect uh -huh. even as your father which is in heaven is perfect you understand so god christ says be perfect like the father is perfect that's how I expect y'all Israelites, y'all men, y'all women to be perfect. Right. That's that's what Christ is commanding us to be. Right. Now, is that something different from what the Father told us to do? Is that different? No, I don't know. No, because Christ got his commandments from the Father. Right. To, to instruct us on how to be. So Christ tells us that the Father says, guess what? Y'all got to be perfect. So what are we supposed to do? Excellent question. Uh, go back to Deuteronomy. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Uh -huh. The law of the Lord is perfect. Is what? Is perfect. Remember, be ye therefore perfect. You just read that in Matthew, right? So the law, we're in uh, Psalms right now. It says the law of the Lord is perfect. Doing what? The soul. Doing what to the soul? Converting the soul. So my brother, how you convert from being unperfect to being perfect is keeping the law, keeping the commandments. That's what's going to make you perfect. Right. I got you. I got good, you. good, good, good. I got now you. give me the statue. I got you. 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 We're here with you, my brother Ben. We're here with you. I got you. I got you. Leviticus chapter 23 verse 1 uh -huh. and the Lord spake unto Moses say speak unto the children of Israel speak unto brother Vance his family his nation we all and say unto them uh -huh. concerning the feast of the Lord uh -huh. which ye shall proclaim to be holy shall be what holy read on convocation so hey. holy convocation hey. this this is another way for you to be perfect my my brother my brother hey. Vance. this is how you convert to being perfect hey. even these are my feasts these are the lord's feasts so this is how we get perfect in the ceremonial laws read six days shall work be done six days the lord gives us six days to work right to go out get the money so that we can what survive so we can maintain no, it's not to the original Israelites right now. We are the original Israelites. That's right. You know what? what? Jesus changed that. He changed what? He changed that law. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm Even about, though man. Jesus said you know that I, I have not forgot the ways uh -huh. of the past. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I've come here to make sure that you are relieved from that. So what we don't need to be doing they're going to bring out, but what we don't need to be doing is not missing church to help understand. So you, you no. tell me what this means. Uh, Malachi, go ahead and read. Malachi, I can't chapter tell. 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord, uh -huh. I change not. So remember what you said. It's changed now. Right? I didn't say that. The Bible says okay, that. Okay, let's get back. The Matthew. Lord says Matthew. that. Now give me back. Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17. Uh-huh. 
think not that I have come to destroy the law. Think not that Christ has come to do away with anything. The law, read on, or the prophets, or the prophecies in the Old Testament, read on. I have not come to destroy. It ain't came to change nothing, read. Exactly. But to fulfill. But to fulfill. Christ came to keep the commandments. That's right. Nation is men leading by example.